Yeah, so uh, I'm, I've been wanting to go over a lot of guard passing lately because I've been going to uh, you know a lot of the local tournaments where the students are competing, and I see a lot of them get to, you know dominant passing positions where they should be finishing, um, and then you know they end up getting bucked off or the guy regards. Uh, so I really wanted to go over that to you know help the students you know get get a lot better at passing so that when they, when they get to these dominant positions they can actually finish. So like I kind of developed my guard passing in stages. Like you know the first like early on in my career is more loose passing. So I decided, you know, Toriandos type, uh, type passing. Um, then it went to pressure passing, and now I'm at the phase where I'm learning to, you know, combine the two. So using loose passing to set up body locks and things like that. I'm gonna continue going over uh, some passing stuff. So today we're gonna be looking at uh, headquarters again. So we have a uh, supine opponent. From here, we're just gonna come out. We're gonna grip both of the shins, and I'm gonna step one leg to the inside. Now from here, I'm gonna begin driving down my knee, uh, knee towards the mat and basing my two hands out above my opponent's head like so. Now normally from my headquarters position, we look to start pummeling our legs on top or in front like so, but sometimes that can be difficult when you have an opponent that does a very good job of following you. So if I try and pummel on top, he starts extending. And if I start trying to hit front pummels, he brings his knee to his chest. Whenever I have a, uh, a difficult time hitting the, uh, the standard pummels, what I like to do is I'll lean my weight forward, I'll take my left leg, and I'll pummel it to his hip like so. Now from here, I'll just extract my right leg, and I'll come up vertical. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm trying to bait a cross ashi entrance on my left leg. From here, as my opponent goes to begin inverting and entering into my legs, I'm going to look to grip his far hip, and I'm going to start inserting my knee towards the pocket of his hip like so. Now from here, I'm going to look to base my hand out on the mat. My left knee is going to point up towards the ceiling, and I'm just going to fall towards my hip so that we end in a position like so. From here, I want to have both of my legs bent. Okay? If my legs are straight, it's going to be very easy for him to put his back on the mat and start turning in. So <clears throat> once we're in this position, we have two legs bent. We're actively pinching our knees, and uh, my knees are pointing towards the ceiling. From here. I can fall down to my right elbow and I can flare my knees out towards my left hand side as I grab my opponent's hip and this will bring his back closer to me. From here I'll begin reaching for his trap. Far trap is preferable but if it's too far away near trap will do. From here I post my left foot inside his calf and I begin using these three grips to begin pushing him down and inserting my first hook. Now from here, it's going to be fairly easy to start reaching for our seatbelt, bringing our knee to his top hip, shrimping out, and then inserting our second hook. So once again, we have a supine opponent. We come out, we grab two shins, and we step to his hamstring. We settle down into a headquarters position, and we feel like we're having a difficult time hitting the, uh, the normal pummels. From here, I begin leaning my weight forward so that I can pummel my left leg through to his hip. Now I extract my right leg and I come up vertical. As my opponent goes to begin inverting into my leg, I look to start reaching for his far hip. I begin lowering my level and turning my right knee in like so. I post my right hand on the mat as my knee penetrates the pocket of the hip and now I can just sit down to my hip and end in this position. From here again, both knees are pointed towards the ceiling and my legs are bent and we're actively pinching our knees together. I'm grabbing his hip, I flare my knees out towards my left hand side, which brings his back closer to me, and now he reach for either near or preferably far trap. I post my left leg inside his calf, I use these three grips to push him down, and I insert my first hook. From here, it's fairly easy to start locking up our seatbelt, bringing our knee to his hip, and then inserting our second hook. One last time. So we have a supine opponent, we step uh, into the headquarters position, and we lower our level down. We're having a difficult time hitting the normal pummel, so instead we pummel our left foot to his hip, right leg comes out, and we go vertical. From here, as he goes to start inverting into our legs, we grab his hip, post our right hand on the mat, and I start driving my right knee into the pocket of his hip like so. I sit my hip to the ground, I back step with my left leg, once again, knees pinched, my legs are bent, and the uh, knees are facing towards the ceiling. From here, I begin flaring my knees out towards my left hand side, which will bring his trap within reaching distance. I pummel my left leg to his calf, use these three grips to push him down, and I insert my first hook. Then we can begin locking up our seatbelt, bringing our left knee to his hip, 
and then inserting our second hook. Let's give it a shot. One, two, three. So now sometimes uh, opponents will know that you're good at wedging back takes and they won't try and invert it to your legs and they'll stay down on a hip. So we're going to start out the same way. Okay, we're in headquarters position. We pummel our left foot through to the hip, right leg extracts, and we come up vertical. In the previous move, he elevated his hips off the mat, which allowed us to uh, hit a wedge and back take. Sometimes people will just look to stay down on this hip and try and connect the top knee and elbow to prevent you from level changing down. Whenever this happens, I'm going to look to pummel my left hand through, and I'm just going to look to place my fist on the mat directly next to my opponent's hip. From here, I'm going to look to take my right elbow behind my opponent's back, and as I do this, I'm going to look to drop towards my right knee like so. Now from here, it's going to be fairly easy for me to begin back stepping out with my left leg, scooping underneath my opponent's bottom knee, and then walking towards the knees to pump away so that we can secure the pin. So once again, we start out in the headquarters position. We pummel our left foot through, right leg extracts, and we go vertical. This time, instead of trying to invert into our legs, it just connects top knee and elbow to prevent us from level changing down. From here, left hand pummels in between my opponent's hip and elbow, and I just place my fist on the mat with my thumb pointing towards his hip. From here, right up <coughs> elbow shoots behind his back as my right knee drops down, and we end in a position like so. From here, it's fairly easy for me to begin back stepping out with my left leg. From here, I look to scoop underneath my opponent's bottom knee, and now I can use this scoop grip to walk my opponent's knees to face away and then transfer up to the head and start securing the pass. We start out headquarters position, left leg pummels through, right leg comes out, we go vertical. He connects top knee and elbow, left hand pummels in between his uh, elbow and his hip. We place our fist on the mat. From here, right elbow shoots behind my opponent's back as I drop to my right knee and my left knee points out in this direction. So now it's fairly easy to begin back stepping out with our left leg, scooping underneath our opponent's bottom leg, and then walking his knees to face away, and then transferring up to the head to secure the pass. Let's give it a shot. One, two, three. Uh, just uh, like the pressure here. Am I am I trying to get my not my hips, my hips on the floor? Just like where am I directing? Like? Yeah. So normally I like to keep my weight kind of more up towards his head. So let me see. I don't know what I'm doing. Elbow. I shoot my elbow over the back. Yeah. I'm kind of leaning towards his head. If I lean towards his hips, it's pretty yes. hard back step out mm -hmm. so I'll always kind of lean my weight towards his head to create more space for my leg to come out and we just scoop underneath the bottom knee yep. and walk his knees away. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> I'm only 174 now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>